Welcome back to the channel guys, just another quick update in regards to SparkPoint. It will be my second video on SparkPoint today, but um, so it's just a quick one. But yeah, it is breaking out um, from the level that we last seen it at, and so now is definitely a good time to buy a breakout. Obviously you can see SparkPoint did find some resistance over here, now it's back into price discovery, and uh, we've seen it break out above that level. And uh, I expect to see that going much higher now. We've had a nice pullback, all right? So there's been a big bounce from here. Um, let's just measure that move. If you did catch the bottom of the pullback, you will be sitting in approximately 48, 50% profit right now. But um, yeah, I do expect that to continue to the upside. We can see the volume has been picking up a lot. It drops back down a bit and you see a little volume spike coming there. I do expect to see a lot more volume coming in, especially with the Spark DeFi, uh, the new roadmap and so on and so on. It is a Monday. So, you know, if we start the week green, you could potentially uh, see uh, a good week ahead. All right. Um, hopefully there's a lot of new money coming into the Spark point. Um, as you can see, the market cap is growing up to 6.5 million at the moment and uh, it's currently ranked 552. So it's been climbing the ranks nicely. Um, yeah, I mean, if you are looking to buy Spark Point, you can click on the market pairs on CoinMarketCap. It will show you where the most volume is. In this case, it's on Bitmark. I guess there is gonna be more volume picking up on Uniswap, especially uh, since the announcement on the roadmap. So that's another place you can pick it up. But it's safer to pick it up on Bitmark at the moment because there's less slippage it's got the best volume and uh, you'll be able to execute your order probably the easiest on there i buy the btc pair not the eve pair it's up to you if you want if you're buying on uniswap bearing in mind you can only buy the eve pair all right and uh if you don't know how to use uniswap and you're not registered for it uh what you do is you can just go on uniswap okay uniswap.org you basically launch the app all right then what you do is you, right, so you got to connect your wallet first, all right? I use MetaMask, so my MetaMask wallet is connected to my Uniswap uh, account. Uh, you have your ETH in there. You, now, if the uh, if the token's are not there, all right, SRK, the token's not there, when you type it in, what you do is you go over to Everscan and type in SparkPoint. You can just type in uh, for quick search spark point contract address okay that will take you to everscan and you'll find the contract address right here okay and what you do is you copy that you go back into uniswap and you paste it into the search address and then you'll have it here then what you do is you add that manually all right so then when you go back now when you go to select a token you will see it there in your yeah you will see it there in your account okay and then what you can do is you can just type in however much ethereum you wanted to put in for example i don't have that much ethereum in my account at the moment uh, but if i want to put my full balance what i've got there just press that that will give me 5442 srk then you press swap. I do recommend that you change the transaction levels on the uh, on the settings on the slippage tolerance to two percent, and that will enable you to 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 get your buy-in quickly. Because anything lower than that, sometimes it does take a while, and it will just show pending up there, and it may not go through. It might just cancel your order. All right. So guys, yeah, that is Spark Point. Um, obviously, it would be nice to see candle body close on the one hour above that level. It would also be nice to be see a four hour close above that level and then a continuation to the upside. But with everything that's going on and with the hype behind it, with the volume and with the news, I expect that that's going to happen anyway. Do apologize for the noise in the background. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it for now. If you haven't subscribed already, please do like, comment, and I'll see you again in the next one.